Hi everyone, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I have got another everything of £5 haul for you guys. I filmed this not so long ago, I think a few months ago, and you guys seem to absolutely love the video. So I thought that I would give it another go and see what little gems we can find from everything £5. This video is kindly in collaboration with everything £5.com. However, you guys know that I'll be giving you my 110% honest opinion on everything that I'm going to show you to you guys. If you guys haven't heard of everything at five pounds then um there's not really much to explain apart from the fact that everything is five pounds and it's pretty great and also if i remember correctly from last time all the clothes were such good quality so i'm extremely excited to obviously give everything a go i've got some different pieces that i wouldn't normally pick up so i'm interested to see how they look on me as always this will be a try and haul and i shall link everything down below along with the website to everything at five pounds down in the description box Without further ado, thought we should just get into it. So the first thing I picked up was this cami top. Sorry, it's a little bit creased. It's obviously been in the bag and in delivery. So I picked this in a size 8. And I will say it is quite, I don't want to say quite big, but it is definitely oversized. So I probably could have actually sized down. However, I do think it will still fit well. I love the colour. It's like a darker salmon pink colour. I just think this with a pair of jeans will be really sweet. It has a peplum detail as well at the bottom and I just think the material is really nice, flowy and summery. I absolutely love the colour of this top. However, my only complaint is the fact that it doesn't have adjustable straps. I think that the back is really, really nice. It is a slightly lower back. However, I think it's just a little bit low at the front. I don't know if that's just because I'm not, you know, I don't know used to wearing low clothing but I just feel like for me I'd feel a bit more confident and comfortable if it was like here obviously I can pull it back but the tendency is that it's just gonna fall forwards again however I absolutely love the style I think this top with a pair of denim shorts would be so cute obviously not you know my uh working out shorts however i just want to put the focus on obviously the clothes that i am hauling to you guys if the outfits don't match that would be why but overall i do like this top it is double lined as well at the top so it's not see-through at all so you don't need to worry about that especially this kind of top like you wouldn't really want to wear a bra with it because it is low at the back and it has spaghetti straps as well so as i said absolutely love the style and the color but it is just a shame that they don't have adjustable straps however i do think that you could probably tack it somehow and then obviously it would fit me a lot better but yeah i absolutely love this i used to wear tops in this style so much about five years ago so it's such like a blast from the past to be wearing them again the next thing i picked up was a black dress i think this is perfect for wearing over bikini i'm not sure if it's meant for beach wear I think it might be. I can't really remember though. However, it's like a black crinkle material. Hopefully you guys can see what the material is like. As I said, I just thought this would be perfect for the beach. It has a V neck and it also has a V back. I'll show you guys obviously better when it's on. Again, I picked this up in a size 8 and it does look quite big. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too long for me. If not, you can definitely fix things like that quite easily. I feel like we may have had a slight fashion fail. Um, so... Uh, you guys can't even see how long this is you can kind of see in the mirror this is way too long for my personal preference obviously if longer dresses is something that you are into then this is for you but for me a dress that goes past my knees isn't really a bit of me but it is definitely a shame because i really actually do like the dress and from the back i absolutely love the low back like it really does go quite low as well doesn't it i'm sure that my mum is gonna love this though because she loves dresses that are like this kind of length and the fact that it's a beach dress i just know she's gonna love it but yeah as i said personally not a bit of me however if we pick it up it was about here personal preference don't really like a longer dress i was slightly worried that it was going to be long as you guys have seen from the hauling section but yeah cute dress just not for me we may as well stick on the dress vibes and this is actually quite a similar dress this is something that is probably quite out of my not, not out of my comfort zone but something that i wouldn't normally pick however i was really intrigued to see what it would look like on so it is just this 
black and white striped dress it actually cuts off just under the boobs and yeah i've never tried a style dress like this it's just like a normal spaghetti strap it also does have a zip i picked this up in a size small as well so hopefully this should fit perfectly fine but i just thought this would be really interesting to pick up because i haven't ever owned a dress in this kind of style and i just really want to give it a go and i'm such a sucker for monochrome clothing like black and white is literally all i ever wear black white and gray is really it but we've actually got some colourful bits that I shall get onto in a second. Okay, so I'm personally not mad at this dress. It's a really good length as well. If only the other one was this length, then I've been so happy. But let me know what you guys think of this dress. I'm a real big fan of it because it does have adjustable straps. So if it didn't have adjustable, it really wouldn't have worked out for me. But because it does, I was able to obviously lift it up and yeah i feel like it's actually really nice i think this is a great beach dress i don't know if it's meant for that but i think i would wear it as that and i was concerned that it was a little bit big for me but as soon as i adjusted the straps it fit me absolutely perfectly so if i show you guys the back as i mentioned earlier it literally just goes straight across it is a really good size obviously this i don't know does it suit me i don't know this is when you kind of need someone sat in the room with you tell if it suits you or not but i just feel like on the beach or something this would be really nice as you guys just saw it is double lined and it's double lined on the skirt section and on the top section so nothing is see-through because obviously you do have that worry when things are a lighter color that they will be see-through however this isn't at all so i'm just going to quickly show you guys these two basic pieces i just decided to pick up some vests so they are just a standard vest they have actually a high back but I did pick them both up in a small. I picked up a creamy white colour. And it's actually like a speckled kind of colour. I don't know if you guys can be able to tell. I really hope you can. And I also picked one up in navy blue. I just feel like these are just basic pieces of clothing. And you can always like crop them. I think I might do that. I might crop these and then wear them just as is because i'm not really a vest wearer but i just thought it's good to have these as well in case you buy anything that's sheer and you want to wear something underneath so you're obviously not you know flash in the world so i picked both of these up as i said in a size small so i do have some more black and gray things but i think i'm going to move on to something really bright and i feel like when people see these they're going to think no Talia, those are not going to suit you however i have a vision so just hear me out. So I picked up these electric blue, I want to say, um, paper bag waist, long wide leg trousers. So I thought these were really cool. They also do come with a little belt, obviously tie around. Pick these up in a size eight. Sometimes I'm in between an eight and a 10 with trousers and jeans, but I just knew that obviously, cause these are gonna be wide leg, um, there should be enough room in there for my legs for them to not cling. And to be fair, they do look like a perfect size. So my idea with this is to pair it with like a white, just plain crop top. And I thought that'd be a really sweet, you know, summery outfit with a pair of white sandals. So obviously this is going to be quite tricky to show you guys the trousers on. However, I personally love the colour. Probably not with a grey top, but this is the first plain top that came to hand. So I just decided to whack it on to show you guys these trousers. I really like the style. They are extremely wide leg though. Like, I really just can't show you guys. And they are quite long, so I did want to wear them with sandals, but if I did, they would definitely be getting stuck underneath my feet and probably getting holes in and a little bit dirty. So they're probably more of like a heel wide leg trouser. But as I said, you can always like get things tacked and like roll it up and tack it. So it isn't too much of an issue. They also have some pockets, which I love it when a girl's trousers, jeans, shorts, skirts have real pockets for some reason a lot of brands don't think that girls should have pockets but they definitely need them even though i mentioned that i wear a lot of black gray and white sometimes i do a complete 180 and pick like the brightest piece of clothing so that's what i think has happened here but i'm not mad i think that they're nice let me know what you guys think and if i can get away with wearing them especially in summer like i won't wear them in winter but in summer on holiday i feel like you can get away with a lot more okay so we're gonna go back to the black and gray um, i'm gonna start with this because i'm very excited for this i picked up a cardigan so i haven't worn cardigans in a while now i used to be really 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 into them and i stopped being into them because i just started wearing trackies all day um but i want to start you know dress a little bit nicer so i picked up this dark gray 
cardigan but now i'm looking at it it's actually speckled with some white or well it looks a little bit gray now but it's definitely speckled with some white and i got this in a size medium my normal size would probably be a small but i want it to be a little bit more oversized i absolutely love this cardigan i can't really show you guys where it comes up to with where the camera is however it comes about i would say two inches below my knee and it is so soft and comfortable i love the fact that it has pockets as well personally as i said earlier i like to drape my cardigans off my shoulder um people probably think you're gonna get a cold shoulder but i guess it's more of just a fashion statement i personally really like it when you layer up your loungewear so something like a cardigan with leggings and a crop top is my go-to look so yeah absolutely love it i also picked up a bag from everything five pounds and i'm not gonna lie i don't actually own a bag in just like a brown tan color and i just thought i should probably own one so i picked up this one and i actually really like it because it has three different compartments i personally think is really good because then you can keep a lot of things you know locked away and safe and it also has an adjustable strap i hate it when bags don't come with adjustable straps because obviously not everyone is the same height so that is really really useful to have next thing i picked up was another dress so it's like a red and white pinstripe dress and i didn't realize but it actually has a bit of it's not lace but it's got some really nice detailing on the sides i got this in a size small i do believe that they might have had it in a blue and white pinstripe as well as i said not necessarily my kind of fashion sense it does also come with a belt actually but i just want to push out the bow and just see just have a little play around to see what I can find that would potentially suit me. I feel like this is a really, really lovely dress, but it's just not in my style. And I know I said I was trying to push out my boundaries, but I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't necessarily always pick this up and choose this for me. However, it's a really good quality dress. Double lined again, so you guys don't have to worry about any see-throughness anywhere. And the straps aren't adjustable, but... I feel like you could really easily tack it if this was too big for you. I feel like it fits me absolutely fine though. But obviously you guys get the vibe. It is a really good length as well. And obviously as you guys can see you have the lace style detailing on the side. Big thumbs up for the actual piecing of clothing. Just on me, not too keen. But on someone else, 100% would be cute. Speaking of very tools, we're going to go... Um, straight onto something completely different. A bipolar opposite. And I have a black plunge v-neck bodysuit and it's actually a cross back they had these in a few colors as well but i thought that i would just pick up the black one for now and if we want more we'll just go back for more so this is the back obviously i'll show you guys a lot better when it's actually on the body but it does cross over and i love clothing that has like an open back or like detailing on the back I absolutely love this bodysuit and I'm actually a little bit annoyed that I didn't pick it up in any other colours now. So I will be going back and making my own purchase of this same bodysuit but in there obviously different patterns and different colours. And it actually comes in at the perfect height for something that is high waisted for me. Will mention it is a popper bodysuit so obviously if you out and about and you've got to go to the toilet you don't have to worry about you know completely undressing. However it is a full brief bodysuit i don't think i even showed that i didn't even look to be completely honest and i normally gravitate towards thong bodysuits just because you don't get any outlining however this one isn't sitting tight if that makes sense so i don't think that you'll get like a double bum cheek kind of situation but i really really like this it looks really expensive and knowing that it's five pounds just makes you feel so good inside and finally i picked up a bikini if you guys have been watching my hauls recently um do you know what i've had an obsession with bikinis for a very long time there's no point in me saying recently because it's been going on for about two years or so but i decided to pick up an orangey red bikini it's a really nice like coral color it isn't high leg or anything and i picked it up in a size eight the reason i got it in a size eight as you guys know i will normally get bikini bottoms in a size 10 is because it has the adjustable straps strings on the side so Obviously, you can tie it up to however tight you would like it. They're just like a full bikini bottom. You know, you're not going to be flashing anything. You don't really want to flash. And then this is the bikini top. I'm in love with triangle bikinis. and never thought that that day would come. But I definitely think that they are more flattering. This one, obviously, doesn't have any padding in. Luckily for me, that doesn't really bother me. But it's obviously worth noting if you guys do like padding in a bikini top. And then this is the bikini top on. As you guys know, I only ever really try on the bikini tops just because I don't really feel like bearing all 
on the internet have i absolutely loved the fit i love the color i did think because i'm not very tanned right now that it wouldn't look the best but even with a slight tan i do feel like the color is really complimentary so i really really love this and the fact that i got the bottoms and the top for five pounds is such a bargain because sometimes bikinis are so expensive like a top is 25 and the bottoms are like 20 like that is 50 pounds so this is like 10 times less the cost and it's still a really good quality and really nice bikini so that is everything in this haul and i hope you all did enjoy it i must say everything five pounds has not let me down again it's crazy to think that all these pieces of clothing are either five pounds and some of them are sometimes under as well and they are such good quality like you just wouldn't expect it so it's a really nice surprise when a brand really pulls through as always if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave it a massive thumbs up comment down below what you thought and if you guys have any other video ideas that you want to see and also let me know what piece of clothing was your favorite and obviously if you guys aren't already then make sure you subscribe to my channel go follow me over my instagram and i shall see you all very soon with a new one bye